Okay, now we're up. Now we're working. Um, so you guys know that I'm obsessed with Jesse James Decker. Uh, yes, I'm wearing my kittenish shirt. Excuse my messy kitchen back there. We had Mother's Day brunch here yesterday, and I still haven't quite caught up. But anyways, so Jesse James Decker is really cool, and she's got all these like sign-ons from different companies, you know, just to um, promote herself, kind of. And they have different products they make, hairsprays, texture sprays, and they use her face to market it. So you can go online and you can buy the Jesse James Decker um, Girls Night Out hair thing, and it comes with a headband and one full size thing of hairspray and one travel size thing of hairspray for sixty dollars. Um, I don't know about you guys, but as much as I love her, I just can't justify spending sixty dollars on it. That's ridiculous to me. I mean, I don't know what to say. So, since my blog is all about bargains, um, I'm gonna bring you the bargain way to do it. <laughs> And trust me, it's not some like redneck crazy, like, oh, put some WD-40 in it. No, it's not like that. Don't worry. Okay, so basically, my hair's not just like hers, but it's got that wavy, crazy, messed up feel to it that hers does. And I feel like it works for me. And I achieve it with cheaper products than she does. <laughs> so here we go. Um... It works best when my hair is like a day old dirty, but it doesn't have to be. Like this, I washed my hair yesterday and I, and I fixed it all on the same day. So it, it was clean hair and it actually does look better today. But anyways, okay, first I'm going to start by telling you what not to buy. Do not buy this. Nick Chavez, Beverly Hills, plump and thick. Um... It doesn't really do anything. I bought it in a trial size, thinking, oh, well, I'll just buy it in a trial size and see what it does. Can't tell it does anything. I use it just because I bought it, but I keep hoping it'll do something, and it doesn't. Um, I did buy a trial size thing of hair drying spray, and I loved it. I can't even remember the brand of it anymore, but I loved it so much, and it smelled so good. Well, okay, when I ran out of the travel size, I went and I was going to buy the big size. Well, the big size was like almost 30 bucks. So I was like, yeah, not worth it to me. Sorry. But Ulta had this stuff on sale for four bucks, full size. And I find that it works just as good. Um, only downside is that it kind of smells like baby oil. But, oh well. I mean, I use other stuff in my hair, so I never actually smell it. Um, it protects and fights frizz, and it cuts my drying time probably like in half. I mean, I've got a lot of hair, so that's a big deal. Especially when you got two kids to wrangle. Um, if you can blow dry your hair quickly, that's awesome. So, when I blow dry, I pretty much just hit it with a hair dryer, and I'll use a round brush right at the end just to kind of smooth it out some. Just because if not, like I get like weird kinky curls and like craziness, and it doesn't look cute. It doesn't even look messy cute. It just looks in. So anyways, so basically, I'll do the round brush. And then I have this stuff right here. It's Not Your Mother's Girl Powder. It comes out like a really like light, almost translucent powder. And it kind of gives your hair some grit. I know that sounds nasty. <laughs> but um, it gives you some... It makes your hair less slick, which... I mean, if you just washed your hair, your hair's going to be a little slick. So it makes it, like, more willing to move, I guess, because it's not just slick and clean. It's gritty. It doesn't really feel nasty or anything, but, like, I have some in my hair now. And, like, if I pull my hair down flat, there we go. Now I have some in my hair. Here, I'll add more just to show. It's like snow. Here it is. And you take it and you, and you put your fingers in it and rub it in really good. See how it just holds my hair up? Like, okay, obviously I would never go out with it that high up, but it makes it do that. So, that's awesome. So, I don't like buying too much, but a little bit goes a long way. So anyways, gives you that extra volume, that extra bounce. Um, 
I told my daughter it makes my hair bouncy. And the next thing I know, she's like adding it to her hair and her brother's hair. And I walk in like, ah. But anyways, so there's that stuff. I think it was like 12 bucks at Walgreens, which I don't really like spending even that much on hair stuff. But 12 bucks, it'll last me a long time. It's worth it. So that brings me to the next thing I want to show you guys. Let's see. Where did it go? Oh, I'm assuming my daughter took it. Let's see. Gabby? I knew she was in here being sneaky for a reason. Okay, I guess I'll just show you this. I used this Remington wand. And after I've blow dried it, I'll use it. And I'll separate my hair into four spots. This spot, this spot, this spot, and this spot. And then I'll just take it and I'll wrap it around. It's not plugged in right now because my hair's already done. And then I'll just drag it down. Now, I don't ever really go and wrap it all the way around, all the way to the very bottom and get the kinky curls. Just because I don't want the little tiny curls. I want loose waves. So I just kind of do it at the top. And then drag it down. So that's good. And then I shake it all up. Ta-da. All done. And then I have a, um, a teasing comb. Which is not what you're thinking. It's not your mama's teasing comb. It's super cool. And I got it for like $3.95 at Sally's. Hang on. Let me see if I can find it. 